So the challenging part will be surviving the first turn. After that, it shouldn't be too bad. Again, again, deep end riding. Is it probably do magic at the first turn, maybe? It might make it a little difficult to survive, but I do have resistances to everything they use. I already got my Quay Guardian up, so that's really good. I also forgot to make myself toasty. is really good for us. Well, that's why. Oh shit, that's a little hurt, even for Prey Guardian. Uh, okay, oh, they're critting apparently. It actually worked out there, but that might be a problem later. Nice counter. This team hits a lot harder than Tolkien does. I'm going to take like 100 here. Scary turn right now. Really? Oh, I really need out speed next turn. What? I'm dead. Okay, good. What's this up? Kills you first next time. Oh, what the hell? Where did that come from? Healing, I guess. Oh, you s Wow. Why are you still casting magic? You jerk. I'm dead. That sucks. Kogan, I'm down, dude. Stop you, he. You asshole. Right. Don't give up. Totally doable, though. I am sure I can do this. In fact, I can use the exact same strategy. Um, I just this time I'm gonna target my attacks on C, although honestly, it's still gonna require luck. Also, it wouldn't hurt if I used a better food item, but I don't want to grind for it. So a bit more luck required with that. Let's go toast again. again.
Yeah. Oh, I think it's attacking Ryu. Good first try, man. Nice counter. I'm really wanting to see to do a sign like honestly it's not that helpful. It's more useful when I have two party members than it is when I have one. And Colgan gets for more actually no, Silent Lake is still really useful. Red Magic always does more. Silent Lake last, you jerk. You can do that earlier. You know, instead of a silver armor, I might want to put on a master god here. That might be more useful. Okay, standing hit. Good attack. That was a good turn. I have no reaction. Okay, C is 800 down. I'll play it more aggressively. Oh, that might have been a mistake. Oh, never mind. This attack's worked better. I need something like this is a great turn. Me two more attacks. If I get one counter, it'll take me one. Yeah, I need to heal. At least the attack weaker, so I'll have enough time to heal out of this. So, I'll have a more health next turn. Still no berserk. Oh, you bastard, you healed him. Well, it's not a big deal. Once you change the amount of turns, it takes me to kill him, so... It's still two more attacks. Oh, nice. Actually, now it does. He'd be dead right now. Oh, never mind. Oh, that sucks. Or... I suck at that, apparently. There we go, this fight's pretty much over. Once you kill C, it's one more. Wow, he crit. He bought another anchovy pizza. Anchovy out. Play it safe. In case he does double crit or does lightning attack. Why do you stop doing lightning attacks? 
Und dann wird die Kugel. Ja, hier soll ich hier Kugel. Oh, fuck you, Kogan. Get wrecked. Shot on my ass. Oh, it's wrong this. He healed himself. Whatever, my one attack is more. Oh no, it doesn't do more. This close to that. So there we go. Teed and Colgan. Getting a normally. Look at that. Huh, his magic defense went up a bit. That's good. His attack went up a bit. Speed and luck went up a bit. Strength not too much. This fight could have been even better if I used the Master Guard. I'm not sure I have one with me, honestly. Oh, Beast Room. That's a fucking challenge right there. Mostly because of that stupid ass left leg. That left leg can just wreck me. And I can trade this for a water amulet. I think I'm gonna trade that for a Jizo. I don't like the idea, honestly. It's better equipment, but. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do it. I need the backup. Um, I want that for the resist dark, but here we want an earth shield. Huh, I didn't have a Master Guard with me, I'd have to go back and get it. That'd be better for Seed and Colgan, probably. Plus 10 less defense, but you get plus 15 strength, plus 15 attack. Or attack, not attack. That's way more useful. And this is the one. Alright, let's see if we can kill Beast Rune and Gengen only. Now uh, this, this is a challenge right here. Gotta make him toasty again. So, this is a note that this isn't even the best setup for this. Get fucking toasty, dude. There we go. I can come up with a better one, but... It would take me a lot more work. I'd have to do a bunch of cooking and fishing stuff, and... I just really don't want to do that. Actually, cooking wouldn't make much of it. Never mind. But with just getting it only wouldn't make a big difference. If I breed also, my setup can change a lot. With getting it only, the only thing I can do is get a better berserk item. Which is still nice, but not like incredibly important. I 
mean there was a spell that increased your magic in the place. status and some unbalance, and for some reason panic. Panic, what that does is basically you lose control of your character. And guess what? I fucking got a status to a first pick in turn. So now I have no control over getting in. The thing is, it's just still possible, and I have a Jizo for this reason. But, now I'm in a really shit situation. Too early. First turn is horrible. That's the only thing that's making this fight really hard. Oh my god, and now most of my health is gone. This just takes like 75% or 80% of your health or something like that, I don't know. Actually, we can probably tell right now. 75% I think. 75% of my health gone. I did three left leg -like turns. Left leg -like is the slowest part, so based off the fact that it got cut first, I know I just did three left leg -like actions. Oh, never mind, apparently we lose sword. 33 damage. Okay, apparently Gengen defended, never mind. I have no control over him, so he just chose to defend. Exertion is adding way more damage than it should. It's supposed to be a multiplier of 2 times, but it feels like it goes up to like 4. Or maybe I'm just thinking that way because of how attack works in this way. In this game. Uh, that's probably it. Oh, the barrier was down. They put a barrier up. So now the rune's gonna take less damage, I think. Oh, that's gonna hurt. It's probably gonna kill me. Oh. Gengen chose to defend again. So wait, when does the barrier go down? There's only one more step if you can give me. I don't know. This isn't bad anymore. Until it actually goes down to the end. And here we get the sandwich. Okay, this is actually good. It's only gonna take a percentage of my health. So this will do like 40 damage or so. I'll do up to like 15 health though. And it fixes the sound bug. Nice. Okay, I think I need like one more turn and fix on the room. I has been using this attack a lot. This attack only does one damage. So, seeing more blows won't hurt. Zero. This won't matter either. I'm pretty sure getting in front of him. By the way, when he dies, I have a Jizo on him. That'll cure his status. That's part of why I'm still going with this. Otherwise, I would quit a long time ago. What is this? Oh my god, he has like 20 health now. God damn, Gengen. Okay, now he's dead. That head hurts the most. Okay, he crit. Oh my god. 2,000 damage to the head behind the room. If it panics me, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Okay, we're good.
Let's bring a shield with him. When did the shield go down? Oh, I lost my toasty. That would be sick, I forgot. At least we cut him would be amazing. I don't have a hope so though. I don't think it's ever gonna happen, but it would be sick. As long as it's made right though. Hopefully they don't butcher it. There's plenty of uh, butchered some cottons, like tier threes. So far so good. Reserve too, that'd be lovely, but apparently not. Oh, you bastard! Okay, honestly, this isn't that bad as long as nothing else happens this turn. I'll just heal again, there needs to be another chance of Berserk, so. Let's heal Still no Berserk though, we'll never fight. Finally, we actually get to do something other than. What the hell? What do you have that? What's that doing? Is it very going down enough? I don't understand that part right there. Take the barrier down now. What's this attack even supposed to be? Moonlight? Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's dead. Ooh, and you attacked. Oh, no, my head's like, still. My head. I thought you were attacking the head. Not dead. Okay, let's heal again. Still the Berserk. The right leg could bring back parts of the beast room. And it just brought back the room. Half health. We'll go down when we have to quickly though. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's a bit annoying. We're gonna have to deal next turn. But we're gonna hit the room break a thousand damage right here, so. And then we have another chance of reserve. Okay. Resort finally. Just don't panic me and we're good. Oh, I actually have to grab an engine and pizza from Don't do it. Do not do it. Oh, you put up the barrier. Okay, no point in rushing. Let's just... Oh, I still one more. Let's just go a Should be down. Yes! Good, good, good. Don't do it, left leg. Do not fucking panic me. Oh my god, again. Good. 
okay, this is gonna hurt the left leg and tough, but I get a crit and it's going down. Um, I've actually used Gabocha before, sadly he was not. Before this, I did a game in Gabocha run, where I only used the two, and it was a lot harder. <laughs> or at least it felt a lot harder, maybe I just got better at the game. Well, that's the best the strongest attack right there. Seven fifty a turn, fuck yeah. One more turn and the left leg is going down. Cool, we're still not packed. I think this is gonna happen. Come on, Sal Boy. Okay, it's good. It's good. Okay. Oh, he's holding a Gabucha. Gabucha! Dude, which is the best? Oh god, it hit me pretty hard. Okay, I think I have to heal. Yep. Kill, 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 kill. Okay, okay I have to heal. I might be able to survive, but I might not. It depends what he does, so I'm going to get sick. Grab some healing items from my inventory. But before I do that, I have to kill the left leg. Shit, I think it's gonna get two turns here. If we get through these two turns and kill the left leg, we think we want three more. Stop hitting me so hard. I'm gonna make heal just in case. The only way you can really kill me is if the left head gets like two really good attacks or three turns in a row, but I'd rather play it safe. Yeah, good thing I did. I don't know what it's gonna do now, but it might kill me. First try. So I decided to make it even harder by making it get me So that's where Grievous got here. He, he was OP. Turns of attacks. Well, they're not three, two more turns. And they'll try to be down. And then the fight is easy as fuck. There's literally nothing else that can hurt me afterwards. Ouch. 
the strongest attack that Mystery has against me. Besides that one where the heads of the room attack together. And that's a percentage based attack, so. That one isn't too bad either. Okay, that head should go down to one more turn of attacks. I'm gonna heal just in case. Getting a little close now. This attack. This attack literally doesn't hurt me. It would do a little bit of damage if I didn't have a Quake Guardian in there. Once I put, the, put up a Quake Guardian scroll, it's just pathetic. Okay, you should kill it here again. Right? Yes! Okay, fight's basically over. Quiet. I can't talk really loud since everyone's asleep here. Plus, I can't wear my headset because my mic is kind of broken off right now. I have it taped on. So, really don't have any good options. Speaking like stuff. Oh, I stopped paying attention to the fight. I really did. I'm only just pressing fight attack because the fight is over. We have BP stream. Ah, uh, that's true. It could be hard to hear. But tones are the best speakers. Actually, no. My phone speakers are pretty freaking great. Oh, GG3 right here. Never have a problem watching Twitch on it. Plus, Gingin hasn't really crit this fight either, so I can't say I got lucky. I got panicked first turn, and I got one crit the whole fight. This has been a mediocre, like, luck fight, so... The only thing is, I only got panicked once. That's the really good part of the fight. And I think this turn ends it. I can't believe it. Get wrecked, beast room. There we go. Ah, oh, damn it. I called it wrong. Next hit? It should be next hit. I'm pretty sure it's barely alive right now. How is it still standing? God damn. I'm pretty sure I've hit it, like... Must be just like one more attack. I remember hitting it once before. 
I don't remember if I hit with both heads. It was because of my panic status. And I'm pretty sure I've already attacked after four turns, so. I'm doing just under a thousand a turn that has 4,500 health, I think. 4,500 or 4,700, I don't remember. One of those two. There we go. Rip Beast Rune. We just beat the final bosses getting in only. That's sick. That is so sick. What was 74 Gengen? I only got 3 strength. I got 4 magic defense. I got 5 speed and 4 luck. Interesting level up there. 200 custom polish. I'm already rich. But it's just Gengen. Okay, so we're gonna do one last thing now. A very unsweet condom like. But we're gonna go kill Joey. And we're gonna go kill Joey because we can't save him. And because it's literally the last duel challenge we have left. So, the thing is, the tricky part is, earlier in the playthrough we had to deal with Gerudo. And since Joey's level is based off his own level or based off Ryu's, my Ryu was level 4. So I literally had a Ryu level 4 and a Joey level 18 to deal with him at first. That's why I decided to finally level up Ryu because it was impossible at that point and um, get him to 25 which brought Joey to 30. Yeah, Zappa Slave, that's why. And thank you, Asogat. It was just a challenge run, that's why freaking game. But, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so Gerudo. That brought 20, Ryu to 25 and Joey to 30. Now, I didn't want to level up anymore, so I made sure Ryu died before Joey killed Gerudo. And that brought Joey to level 90. So now we're gonna go level 90 Joe, dual level 90 Joey with level 25 Ryu. Let's see how that goes. Of course, I'm gonna give Ryu my best setup. And we'll go and wreck Joey with level 25 Ryu. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm gonna...